everyone, my name is Marie. Today I'm going to tell the story of Room on a Broom. <laughs> Look, this story is especially for a young lady that I look after called Hannah. Hi Hannah. Today is special for her because it's her birthday. Happy birthday, Hannah. Shall we sing? Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Hannah. Happy birthday to you. I hope you like the story. Right, so I'm going to teach you a few signs and hopefully at home you'll be able to join in with the story and sign it at the same time, okay? So our first sign is which, which. So two fingers, we've got a nice curvy nose, which, which. Our next sign is cat, cat, cat. Well done, so claw hands, cat. Well done. Our next sign is dog. Dog, so two fingers, dog. Dog. Well done, because they pick up a dog in the story. Our next sign is frog. Like my frog. 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 So big curly hand, frog. Because they go ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> The next sign is bird, bird, two fingers, bird, like the beak, bird, bird. And then the last sign is broom. I've got my broom today, look. <laughs> right, who's ready for a story? Okay, here it is. There's my cat. <laughs> so, the witch had a cat and a very tall hat with long ginger hair that she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on the broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly and blew off her hat. Fell over. Down cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then, out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with a hat in his jaws. He was holding it. He dropped it politely, then eagerly says, as the witch pulled the hat down firmly on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. <gasps> Over the fields and the forests they flew, the dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat. But away blew her bow. It had a plait, her bow. 
from her long ginger plait was gone. Look, there it is, flying away. Down cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out of the tree, with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said, as the witch tied her plait in a bow, I am a bird, as green as can be. Is there room on a broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh! They were gone. <gasps> gone again. Over the reeds and the river they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and they shh and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Ooh. Then all of a sudden, from out of the pond, leapt a dripping wet frog. Like mine, a frog. He dropped it politely and said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand with a fold of her cloak. I am a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Mm. Yes, said the witch. So the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and Whoosh! They were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped with joy. Ooh. And what happened? The broom snapped in two. Oh no! Down flew the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. Ooh, lots of mud. The witch's half a broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar. That was scary and loud. I am a dragon as mean as can be and I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer, licking his lips, and said, Maybe this once I'll have witch without chips. <gasps> Here he is. Not a nice dragon. Just as he planned to begin his feast, from out of the ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and
and sticky and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads and wings like a bird. Its terrible voice when it started to speak was a howl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. Hmm. It dripped and it squelched and it's as it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon, Buzz off! That's my witch! Yes. The dragon drew back and started to shake. Oh, I'm sorry, he spluttered. I've made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog, down climbed the cat, and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's insides. Ooh. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily and the cat found a comb. The bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They all threw, they threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose, what, what was it? <laughs> a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the, cried the witch and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Here we go. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you again soon. Bye.